to share with you our quirky collaboration that I mentioned that I was doing with Tessa and Marcy. And it all started from this book. This is the hinge booklet that I made, and I have a video on creating this. And while I was putting this together, I had the idea of it would be super fun to do this with a couple of friends um, who built quirky characters like I do and put it all in a book for each other. So I did that. I contacted Marcy and Tessa and asked them if they'd be interested, and they were. And so what we did is Marcy's international and Tessa's uh, in the United States. So we were going to send one book and then each put our pieces in there and send it on to the next person. Well, that was going to take a while. So what we ended up deciding to do is um, I gave them the measurements and then each person created five quirky characters and then uh, Tessa did the cover and Marcy did the back. And uh, Marcy ended up sending me her originals, but Tessa sent hers via email, which was just fine. They were scanned. So either way worked. If you end up doing this in the future, that's a, a great way. You can just email them to each other and scan them. But let me sh share with you the results. So here's the two books that I created for them, and let me walk you through it. So many of these creations come from using the collage sheets. You can see here that this one that Tessa made was from, the head is from the collage sheets. But we also incorporated magazines and various things that we all had around. And so these were unique to each of us, and I can't wait to share it with you. So here's the cover that Tessa did. And then I'm just going to just cover and reveal one page at a time. So this was the inside cover that I did, and I found this poem that, that says, There's a miracle called friendship that dwells within the heart, and you don't know how it happens or when it gets its start. But the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift, and you realize that friendship is life's most precious gift. And I love that. I had these images that came from Tangi Baxter, and I just uh, printed those out with this poem on there. And I, when I put these together, I printed these out on an inkjet printer and I used photo paper and I got super good quality. Then this is the opening page which basically just says it's a collaboration, it's our three names and the definition of quirky. Now this is one of Tessa's pages and because I figured in a year from now, we might not remember who did what, in the bottom corner, I just stamped uh, the first letter of each of our names. And it kind of just sort of blends into the piece. But if you're looking for it at the bottom, you'll see it. So this is Tessa's. And I love, Tessa does great background. She tends to take things from magazines and such and then incorporates quirky characters on top of that. This is one of mine, and you may have seen this. Um, and this is a combination of a fence from a calendar and a giant sunflower, and then I built up this quirky character. Collage sheets are from Crowbout Studio, and I'll put a link in the description box. This is one of Marcy's, and hers are awesome because she, she uses a lot of animal heads on hers. And I believe a lot of this is from the... Um, collage sheets that we used in our quirky character series um, and uh, I, I think this turned out super cute I love it now here's a little one this was a kind of a skinny page and so I worked with it it worked out perfectly this is one of Tessa's and this character just cracks me up and so I just did it on a little, I just made the page a little smaller. And then you'll see that when I did mine, I made it fit this page. And so again, this is one of mine. And uh, it's a combination of the body of some of our collage sheets and the, and the pants, butterfly wings. And then I just put the, um, the eyes are from... I think they're from a collage sheet and the hairs from another piece. It's just all kind of cobbled together, which is the beauty of these quirky characters in collage. 
This is another one of Marcy's, so again, an animal head. And just the detail, when you look at these, when you really stare at them, there's so much going on. Her backgrounds are fantastic. She has a lot of uh, text and this paper back here. I don't know if she created it or if it came from something, but it's just beautiful. This is one of mine, and this was a wine bottle. And then I just dropped some legs and arms on that, and here's the neck that's part of the wine bottle. And then I created the, the face, again, from the collage sheets, the eyes, and then uh, sort of styled the hair. One of Marcy's. And I love this dog that has the fish head. It cracks me up. And then the sunglasses with the uh, bowler hat on it. It's just so cute. Now, Marcy was smart. She, sh she actually signed hers. But I still went ahead because in some cases it might have been cut off a little bit. Uh, this is one of Tessa's. There's a little Einstein there. And her rabbits, she does these rabbits uh, in some of her work. And I just think he's so cute. And again, that great background, and then a lot of the collage sheet elements. Uh, this is one of mine, and this is Oprah's body. It's the cover of one of her magazines, and then just created uh, a head from a quirky character, and, and redid the eyes and the hair, added a butterfly and some words. And I love this background. This background came from an ad. And um, it had actually a Dalmatian over on this side of it. But uh, I thought that set it off pretty well. I liked it. Um, this is one of Marcy's. This is really bright and colorful and a lot of detail on here. And I love the way she's got uh, numbers there in the back. This is one of mine. Um, this is a combination of several things. This is from our collage sheets. I created these wings. Uh, the head came from a Pinterest and then I actually changed the eyes and the nose and the hair is a plant uh, like a palm tree and then I was looking for a background and I found this background that I had pulled from a magazine and this is actually a vase that goes up like this and then the flower comes down and I set her on there it does look maybe a little dull but I really kind of like the way it turned out and it says explore the sacredness of existence and then it's the um, person's name, uh, Layla Grifty Akita. This is one of Tessa's. Again, the great girl. She's got, I love, check out this background. And then there's fish up here and a guy right down here. But I really like her scale. You know, the head is bigger than the body, so something that makes it look just a little bit more unusual. And then this is one of Marcy's. The wings on here, and look at this apron. Isn't that a killer? I love it. On a mannequin. And then she did use a border around here, like we built on some of our quirky characters, uh, just using strips of different kinds of paper. And then this one is Tessa's deer head on a body. And then again, the great background. This looks like something from Mardi Gras. This one you saw is the cover of, of my previous journal. And I stuck that on there. And then the back cover is Marcy. And again, the animal head on the body and a lot of detail. Um, she marked it as the end, and here's the little dog, and it just turned out adorable. Now, the only thing I did different from what I did on the first one is, the first one, I used a file folder, and um, this one I decided, because I really wanted to set off the images, I used just black cardstock. I had a heavy black cardstock. I think that was 110 pounds, so it's, it's got good weight to it. 
and I just use that and then everything else is is the same on this so if you get a chance do a collaboration with someone it's super fun and I think you'd really enjoy it and if you have any questions about this I'll leave the link on how I made this booklet and any other questions just leave them in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.